So this is a tip I would like to give people, um, our, you know, our a little more advanced clientele or people that have their own fishing rods for the drift boat. You know, we like to give a little tips uh, for our drift boat clientele, a way to catch a little more fish. Um, one is using a sidewinder jig. This works very well for like kingfish. Uh, a lot of guys like to use these. Um, when they go through the water, they just zig back and forth like this. Really good kingfish jig, um, but you don't put wire on them. You only use mono straight them, so you can lose them. So you do definitely want to have a few of these. A good place to buy these jigs is Angler's Bait Tackle on Dania Beach Boulevard on, on the way to our marina. We also like to use these uh, butterfly jigs. Everybody is on this bandwagon uh, using these type of jigs. Uh, you got to have your own rod and you got to have braid on it to get the right action. This is a Williamson jig. You can buy Shimano ones which are real good. Um, there's a bunch of different weights. This one I believe is like a seven ounce jig. We usually use a five. We only use seven ounces out in the deep water. Um, those catch a lot of amberjacks, king mackerels, blackfin tunas. We catch mutton snapper on them, catch groupers. It's a very productive way to, to fish out here. I wasn't a big believer out of the butterfly jig originally, um, but after watching guys catch a lot of fish on them and using them myself, um, they definitely work. You know, they work very well. Do you need to tip that that white one with a bait or no? No, we don't. We don't okay. tip it with a bait at all. We, we go straight mono butterfly jigs. We go straight like 60 to 80 pound mono, depending on what you're fishing for or how heavy of a jig. Could go a little lighter with fluoro, just depending on the out how many ounces the jig is. 